hello welcome to you in our tutorial uh, today I'm gonna show you about uh, how to how to manage the superstore shop first of all you go to the main menu set of items supplier for first time mm, see that I'm doing practically the main menu set of item and here you include the all item item name category in item code price quantity everything then save update first of all you set up the item for the first time and then after completing the set of item then you go to the purchase menu purchase menu the purchase to manage purchase menu is here you, you, you know then see the invoice now my invoice date it's, uh, it's already exist the suppliers uh, you see the supplier id supplier id when you change supplier id it's displayed the supplier name to let's say click next and then this is the uh, role uh, role list which uh, the less than reorder level mm, you have to order it then you select it and uh, you can you can write here next and then uh, you sort another item uh, um, or something else uh, like that this is your new quantity if you wanna give it 500 10 and 50 next something like that after completing you include this number then you get save then report report i am going to show you a report yes eight our previous report mm. display the report which you included its purchase quantity uh, purchase total after having the purchase supplier will uh, send you the product then you have to um, uh, do this part uh, uh, in this part you you, uh, you wanna say uh, the receipt goods receipt I just uh, I just select the uh, invoice it display displayed which uh, product you ordered you just uh, checked and uh, uh, check the stock uh, order quantity and you receive quantity uh, if you see that the order quantity 50 and uh, and supplier provide 50 quantity of am 40 am this item then you uh, put here 50 and um, here put 80 80 which is the, the provide and expiry date if you wanna select can if not uh, not just I, I select the um, I put the uh, expiry date is on it just save then it will save and your stock will be updated uh, just like that uh, now your stock quantity is 4 if 15 quantity is added it, it will be 54 see that um, success it's display the message success I mean it's done now your stock quantity is 54 after that um, uh, this is your regular uh, regular process that sell manage you always work in this in this page uh, sell manage customer name if you have a uh, customer name and uh, just put it customer name my name is Roshan R O W S H A N Roshan put your customer name and inverse date uh, today today's date uh, just put next and uh, it will display the um, invoice number the next uh, after after clicking the next uh, select item code it displayed the stock quantity uh, item code display the stock quantity and the price it's also and selling price too this is purchase price price is 70 and selling price is um, 100 and, uh, you put it in the just uh, <coughs> 200 then click go it's not accept because sell quantity cannot be greater than stock quantity click ok uh, so it has only stock quantity is 125 you can uh, put it on 25 or something uh, 25 then click go it's there it's included uh, another list and then this one uh, this one uh, it's also 10 quantity 25 is uh, a bit more uh, this is stock is uh, the displayed the red color you know the red color is the reorder level color that's a reorder level reorder level is reorder level is 10 that's why it's it displayed the red color select it mm, and uh, you can discount something uh, 50 data discount and cash is 4000 uh, 4950 is due so uh, if you um, if you want to um, uh, view the customer receipt click on save successfully save click on the receipt 
this is the this is inverse now customer name date and item name sell quantity sell price sell total and uh, the total total summary total quantity the 30 total amount 5000 discount cash due everything the documentation of this documentation you can see the login login and the main menu setup item purchase purchase manage and then supplier in product everything this is the documentation we also um, uh, test the sale how to sell customer name by invoice now um, sell I put it uh, 8 then you can you know, so, you know, you know, so the, uh, in the invoice now all the customer name or option or whatever which uh, option it is the same thing uh, and you can charge with the date range shopping shopping uh, you can choose customer name from date to date also shopping center uh, ID is also included here and then um, the charge purchase you can purchase this uh, charge purchase uh, per supply name uh, invoice now and everything by date also data uh, purchase and just product existing product um, just like that am mw the product item name quantity item quantity price sale price reorder level two you know uh, if, if if you just put here it, it displays the reorder level only um, expiry date expiry date wise if you tell that the which uh, which item expired uh, on this between this date to this date uh, date range between this date range it will display the uh, product now i'm going to show you the uh, account, accountability uh, that is income uh, you have another income the this is income the income type the it has other income ha, other income uh, house rent uh, house rent you have another building or something uh, etc etc uh, uh, other income income amount remarks you know save this is the cost minus cost entry this is the cost electric bill house rent and and something etc so you can include here and then you select the um, cost amount and save uh, when you save it it's it's included the uh, the date which uh, which are exist in your computer um, uh, on this date uh, this is the cost uh, after having the cost you can see the ledger charts ledger charts uh, from this date to this date if you select here income type income date cost type cost date total income amount total cost amount after uh, uh, this is the balance amount uh, income minus cost this is the balance you can you can charge it from the range uh, like that uh, the 1 to 30 30 this is the uh, this is the list of this month report of this month you can export it in excel There's something like that uh, excel as uh, for the uh, name excel file name then click on save when it will uh, you can include the employee to um, which you <coughs> maintain no, just, uh, you <coughs> first of all if you manage the employee you have to enter the employee information employee id name father mother joining date everything salary status true or false if you put it false the salary will not include in here um, there mm, having the this is the employee information if you um, if you input any kind of, you see that any kind of error put it and it it will uh, it will include here let's not give father father Raihan update it will be updated uh, the father Raihan uh, see it? this is the update update it's completed completely updated after completing this step in uh, you can uh, you can uh, manage the employee attendance attendance just put here the employee name Rabiul Hussain and uh, select the uh, if if present one if absent zero um, save then it will automatically display here the employee attendance on the selected date uh, today's date um, uh, this is date employee uh, if this is leave if, if the employee leave take leave uh, then you approve this leave if a uh, leave not approved then he will not be entitled for this for the salary of this uh, this date 
uh, so you can uh, you can uh, approve the leave just select and then save the leave will be approved the, uh, in this in this uh, in this uh, section you will see the employee id name date and message mm, um, date date uh, date is the which the leave date only mm, about time if, if employee taking the overtime just like that um, <laughs> taking the overtime it, it will display here and uh, and you can include the employee overtime here after having the um, employees in employee information employee attendance after completing the month uh, you should manage the salary just uh, put the um, uh, month name and find the employee list and the employee name present absent leave overtime overtime amount total salary payable amount payable amount you just input here um, in the temporary ID name, present action, leave, OT, OT amount, total OT, is not OT, salary 10,000, payable 10,000. If, if he take leave but leave is not entitled, then it will detect from his original salary. Save then save. After having save, um, you can uh, go to the menu, <coughs> select and the uh, salary payment, ID and the salary day, uh, salary month go. Mm, then uh, payable amount will be automatically di displayed pay amount deduct if you have any de deduction uh, then you can include it here save if you want to send message to the um, uh, to the customer or something like that you can go to this option <coughs> day day wise this is the this is the day day wise or uh, i'm gonna show you the month month wise uh, month this is total income this is total income total cost now it's no it has not available data there so it's displayed zero it this is total income total cost balance due if the if uh, some of supplier uh, take the due mm, the due amount will be displayed it here mm, because this is also as a discount this is the supplier list in which the the message sent uh, in this uh, in this supplier and then select the com t the com to connect after having connect click the send message you must uh, connect with mm, i'm gonna show you um, the bengali written agreement in for it so everything is Bengali uh, name and if you have Bengali uh, <coughs> Bangla font you can change the Bangla font and you can select the Bangla font Bengali Thank you to see this message. If you um, want to contact with me, my email ID and um, my Skype ID, you can just send me a message. I'll call back you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs>